Hey guys, it's Paula. As you know, I am a college student and I really like making college videos for you guys. I think it's kind of my duty as a college student to kind of let you know how things are going or give you advice or anything like that. So I've gotten a few requests to do a video on how I chose my major and I thought that was a really good idea because this is coming from someone who had no idea what she wanted to do in high school. Literally no clue. I was so lost. There was nothing that really like jumped out at me that I wanted to do with the rest of my life and I didn't know what I was going to do in college. On all of my college visits I would make sure I would ask what do you guys do for undecided students? Do you have like academic advisors that are there to help people if they don't know what they want to major in? How long can you be undecided before you have to commit to something? Because I really just had no idea what I wanted to do. It probably didn't help that I was looking at colleges that had a very limited selection of majors that you could choose from. So things like math, nursing, engineering, just things that you could probably major in anywhere. And I would look down the list on the brochures of like majors and I would be like this one, this one, this one, like literally none of these, literally none of these. I don't want to do any of this. Around my senior year of high school, right when it first started, I just decided like, you know what, I'm going to major in business because business is kind of a universal thing. You could just major in straight up business or marketing or finance or anything and probably get a job anywhere. Then I took this marketing class senior year and it was actually kind of horrible because I was one of the only seniors in that class. There were like a lot of sophomores and they were all friends and I was always left out and I just felt really awkward in that class, like always. But I convinced myself like, yes, marketing, let's, let's do marketing. I don't know why, but this seems like a good thing for the real world. Then also my senior year of high school, I took this class called Advanced Broadcasting. And I had taken the intro class my freshman year with my best friend just as like a fun class. Like we would make dumb videos and dumb skits and stuff like that. And we would learn the intros of editing and everything like that. Um, so we decided to take the advanced one together sometime in our high school future. But then she decided not to take it because she was pursuing like psychology and other stuff she was interested in. And I just decided, you know what, I'm still going to take the broadcasting class. It'll be fun. And then just throughout that entire class when I was sitting there, I was like, you know what, this is my favorite class this semester. Um, maybe that means something. Maybe I could pursue this. Is this a thing that people do? Can you major in broadcasting? So then I started researching and at that time my top college was Carthage. I really wanted to go there. I don't even know why, but there was just something about it that I, I really wanted to go there. And I was looking at the majors list and they didn't really have it. They just had a bunch of like communications majors, like comm studies or I don't know what other majors there are, but they just had like communications is what you could major in. And I'm like, okay, maybe I could do that, but like what does that mean? Where does that get me? So then I looked at Northwestern and as we all know, Northwestern Western is like, whoa, and they have a film school that is amazing. And when I toured the campus, I was like, wow, this could be something. And then after I got into Northwestern and I got my financial aid package and I realized I could not afford this school to save my life, I decided to look at Marquette and I saw they had a major called Broadcast and Electronic Communication and I'm like, ooh, that sounds intriguing. So I applied and I got in and I went to tour the campus and I just fell in love with the freaking place, hence why I go to Marquette now. I mean, that kind of makes sense. So yes, my major is digital media and I guess I'll tell you guys a little bit about what we do in that major in case any of you are interested in this field or you just really don't know what it is. So as I told you guys before, my dream job, my goal is to work in a TV studio somewhere. I really want to be the technical director, which is the person that pushes all the buttons. I think it's super fun. Um, I don't think I could be a director just because I'm not like bossy enough. Like I can direct people, but I'm just, I really don't like to be the leader. So I like to follow orders from someone else, hence I like to be the TV. So in digital media, we basically work in the studio and we work on field assignments. So in the studio, you know, it's your basic TV studio, you do live shows like news shows or talk shows, and it records live to tape. So everything that you see on the set and everything that the actors are doing, the director is calling out what he or she wants and it's immediately going live from there to a tape or to a clip. And that's kind of how the show is made. And then in field assignments, that's when you know you get a camera and you go out into the world and you shoot something so it's like short films or like scripted narrative kind of documentary things. Um, so that's when you like shoot all your footage out there and then you come back and edit it to the way you want. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> my dad just texted me, on my way home, already made Dell. 
I don't know what that means. So that's kind of the basics of what digital media is and how I decided to do it. And obviously YouTube played a big part in that decision as well because I love making videos and I love editing things. And I guess the only reason that I am in front of the camera while I make my videos is because there's really no one else to do it. Like I would much rather be behind the scenes and shooting actors and then editing it later. But I just kind of make videos of myself because that's who I'm with all the time. <laughs> So that early love of just making videos and kind of making something and then editing it into something else, um, that really sparked my love for digital media. My love. Yeah, I'm in love. I'll admit it. And currently, also if you care, I am minoring in advertising and I'm taking a few classes this semester and I think I'm going to stick with advertising. So just kind of like a good minor to back up my skills. So my tips for you on how to choose your major if you really don't know, think about what you enjoy. Go down the list of majors of a school that you're interested in and think to yourself, can I see myself doing this? Would I enjoy doing this? If I see this word and I associate it with, oh, my major is fill in the blank, will I be happy that way? Can I see myself doing this? If you're still really, really undecided, wait till freshman or sophomore year to declare your major and just take a bunch of classes that kind of introduce you to a lot of these subjects and you will find something that you like, I promise. That is all for me today. I hope you guys liked this video and it kind of gave you some advice on choosing your major and how I chose mine. So thumbs up this video if you liked it. Leave any comments down below. Tell me what other college videos you want to see and I'll be sure to do them. Subscribe because you know you want to and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! It's the track, like it's this is it. Good girl, bad guy, what a perfect match. And if we you gon' wanna play baptized when you